Last time we covered how it was going to attack the player. So as you can see, it has an attack enemy method, and it will select a ran the select manager, and then it will select a random enemy, and then it's going to hit the enemy, or to us, the player, but then it never really takes away any damage. So in this episode, we're going to create a new player health system, and then we're going to just subtract the amount from it. So you're going to go to create, new c -sharp script, I'm going to call it player health, and it's, mine's going to automatically open in Visual Studio. Now you want to go into enemy health, and there's a few things you want to put in. I'm going to put in a public float variable called current health, and then also a function called public void take damage. This is the same thing we did with the enemy class over here on uh, somewhere here. It's in the selection manager, I believe. So over here, enemy health take damage. So it takes damage. If you take a look at the enemy health script, you'll see that it'll take an amount and it'll just subtract it from the current health. That's exactly what I'll be doing. So float amount and then current health minus equal amount, just like that. Now, enemy. Now we want to go in here and we want to reference this script. So using the random enemy and the enemy name, we don't really need that enemy name here. It was just for placeholder. We're just going to put in var player health is equal to selection manager var dot the characters random enemy dot get component player health. So now what this variable is basically a variable of this player health script. It's getting it from the selection manager, the character inside selection managers, and then the random enemy integer, and then gets the player health component from this game object. So now from the here on it's very easy. So all you have to do is player health take damage and then the amount. Now here, each one of them has a scriptable object that we put in some time ago. So if we go in here, you can see that it's in the enemy health. So what you want to do is also reference the private enemy health up here. It's gonna call it health here and create a private or just avoid start method. Here you want to reference the script, so health is equal to get component enemy health. It's just like that. And over here, all you have to do is health dot enemy dot enemy damage. Just like that. And everything should be working. Now even if it goes below zero, nothing will happen. So let's just make it so that it will destroy itself after it's dead. So private void update. If current health is less than or equal to zero, then it will destroy itself. Else, then just return. One good practice is to use getters and setters, which is something that a lot of other languages use as well. It's basically using private or public, in this case float get current health and what it's exactly doing is that just gonna return the number so you can just instead of current health you can put in get current health so instead of having to reference it every time you just put in get current health or just something similar if you want to set the health though you can put in private void set current health and instead of returning any value you're going to put in float and then amount so it's how much you want to set it to. So current health would then equal to amount, just like that. Let's also create a public float start health. And over here in private void start, we can use the set method. So set current health start health. Just like that. Now let's go back into the Unity Editor. Wait for it to load. And let's just add in the player health scripts. So I'm just find the player health and drag it right in under the player. Let's just create a different health for each player. I'm gonna, for the pl first player, I'm going to put in a start health of run 30. Second one, maybe 25. And third one, maybe just a bit stronger, um, 50. Just like that. Now if we click start, you can see that after... I select, attack, and do everything that I'm going to enter. These two are now dead. 
So if you can see here, these guys have a pretty strong attack. Yeah. These damages are pretty strong. So, that's that. And yeah. That uh, basically finishes off this episode. Big thanks to Express Unity for supporting me on Patreon. And other than that, that's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next video.